All right, we want to go to Maryland now where officials are holding a press conference uh, involving an officer involved shooting that has a Jacksonville connection. Let's listen in. Officers went to affect the arrest. Uh, the individual began to shoot at uh, my detectives. Um, fire, uh, our officers returned fire, um, at which point in time a chase ensued uh, with the gun battle. Um, no additional information from that other than the fact that the suspect uh, was um, wounded and is succumbed to his injuries on the scene. Uh, one of my detectives has suffered a gunshot wound um, and has been transported to um, a, a local hospital. Um, and uh, we are still waiting on the condition of the officer uh, that has been wounded. Uh, but at this point in time, we are still working with Prince George's County um, from an investigation involving this incident. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to update you all more once more information is gathered. Are you able to say where the detective was shot? Uh, at this point, I, I don't know. I just say upper body. Chief, uh, when you were here in Laurel to try to make this arrest, did you coordinate with Prince George's County Police? How did that work considering it was a different jurisdiction? So what I'll share is that the Montgomery County detectives that were involved in this are a part of a U.S. Marshals Task Force. Um, so they are uh, have the ability to go throughout uh, the state of Maryland and outside of their jurisdictions. How many shots were fired? I don't know the answer to that question. That's still being determined. When you say chase, are we talking foot or car? A foot chase, yes. Can you identify the suspect? Uh, at this time, we won't until the family has been notified um, uh, of who that individual is. Any details you can provide about I, I don't have more specifics to what occurred in Florida uh, at this point in time, no. Do you know what brought the suspect here to Prince George's County? And I for, forgive me if you've already answered. No, and, and I had not answered, but I do not know what brought that individual to Maryland or Prince George's County. I do not know. And is it uh, customary for uh, Montgomery County police officers to come into Prince George's County? It, is, it, it, can, it can happen, uh, depending upon, again, the investigation, uh, the type of investigation that it's had, and particularly when we have uh, cases involving, um, for example, the U.S. Marshals Task Force. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the vice versa. Prince George's can sometimes come to Montgomery County. Uh, that is the, that's what's allowable by law. How are you feeling right now, knowing that one of your detectives were wounded? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm really, uh, uh, you know, I'm really, uh, I will tell you, it, it, I'm, I'm on edge because I want to make sure that he is okay. Um, once I leave here, I will be heading to a hospital uh, to check on his condition, but I ask that the public uh, keep him in, a, in, in your prayers um, because at this point in time, uh, this was an officer who was taking a very dangerous individual. These officers were taking a very dangerous individual. Okay, if you're just now joining us, I want to tell you about what you're seeing here. This is a uh, officer speaking out of Maryland, out of Montgomery County. We understand that there was an officer involved shooting that happened there, but the reason that we have this live on our air right now, we're told the suspect involved in that officer involved shooting was actually involved in a homicide that happened here in Jacksonville last night. Uh, we understand that the suspect is dead. Uh, a detective was shot, um, that detective in Maryland. We're not sure of his condition at this time, but we're going to continue to follow this story and keep you updated on air and also on our First Coast News app.